So my name's Richard Short. I'm one of the professors of uh, uh, head and neck surgery, and I have a joint role in the University of Liverpool um, for research, and also at Aintree as a, as a consultant surgeon. As part of the Liverpool Head and Neck Centre, um, one of our areas of interest is in cancer prevention. And one of the commoner forms of head and neck cancer is oral cavity cancer. And um, it's an area that I've been clinically involved in throughout my career in monitoring pre-malignant lesions and trying to predict which lesions are going to progress to cancer and which lesions are safer, but also hopefully to try and think of interventions to prevent progression of these lesions. So uh, one of the things we're interested in is cancer epigenetics and we became uh, interested in repurposed drugs and chemo prevention. And uh, the work uh, that I'm doing at the moment is on a trial where we're coming to see whether common drugs that are used for other purposes might reduce the rate of oral cancer. Unfortunately, our rates of oral cavity cancer are amongst the highest in the UK. And also we have a problem of late presentation um, whereas we'd like to see um, any suspicious lesions very early. Um, unfortunately, half the cases we see are locally advanced cancers for which the treatment is much more complex and the outcome is less good. We've been working on a number of fronts. Um, one of the fronts is to work with physics and to look at new ways of imaging and scanning the cells that we see in people's mouths to see whether they harbour cancer. Um, and that's some work that's funded by Cancer Research UK. Um, some of the other work we've done is uh, more in terms of public health and education of doctors and dentists into examination of the mouth and um, we've produced a, an online format um, oral cancer toolkit um, which has been uh, viewed by uh, upwards of 10,000 doctors and dentists. A very simple educational package so that if patients go to their doctor or dentist and they're examined uh, they know what the, the red flag triggers to refer off to a cancer centre would be. And the other area of research is it really derives from understanding the biology and how these white patches or red patches in the mouth might progress. And we became aware of some data from other sources that patients who are taking a drug called sodium valproate, which is actually used for um, severe migraine or post-traumatic stress or epilepsy, uh, might actually be associated with a lower risk of head and neck cancer. So we're taking the first steps to implement that as an, as an intervention in people at high risk and see if we can change the biology of some of these lesions.